Okay, people, fun new series that we are going to be starting today. I am actually going to be doing a franchise mode, but it's not going to be normal. I know some people do like team rebuilds where they take their current team and try to make them better or whatever. That's not what we're going to do, okay? Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, and if you want me to make changes, just let me know in the comment section. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to choose my favorite team, the Boston Red Sox, obviously, and uh, we are going to advance here. Now, this is where it gets interesting, okay? Okay. The GM contracts, I don't really think I care about the GM, so I'm just going to turn that off. But the fantasy draft is going to be on, okay? So the MLB is basically restarting. Like, all the players are available. We can get Otani. It doesn't matter what team they're on now. They are all available to get drafted, just like it is like in, if you're playing fantasy baseball. Boom, this is exactly how it is. But what we're also going to do is turn this on, which is Legends, okay? So, like, boom, we are going to allow that. And this means that we can literally draft Babe Ruth if we wanted. So, this is going to be amazing, okay? Computer roster control off, computer trading on, ignore budgets. Oh, actually, we might need to turn this one on. Because, like, this one might need to be on. Force trades off. So that means like teams actually have like logic with their trades because like I can't trade my worst player for Babe Ruth. It won't happen. But for the budgets, like I don't know what Babe Ruth and all these like these teams are going to be so expensive allowing the non uh the non active free agents. So again, Hank Aaron, all those guys, like I could have them on the team. So I think I need to turn this on for now and then maybe in the future I'll turn it off if we don't need this on. But uh force trades obviously off. DH on, extra inning runner on, whatever. That doesn't matter. So I think that is how we're going to do it, okay? So what pick do we get? Probably pretty late, right? Uh, Wait, did I pass us? Where are the Red Sox? Oh, eighth. Actually, that's a decent pick. Okay. Well, let's go. The first pick was Hank Aaron. And then Bryce Harper, Johnny Bench. Wow. All right, so yeah, a lot of the legends are going first. Um, Which makes sense because, I mean, look at these players you can draft. Like, I kind of wanted to get, like, Otani, but I might be able to get him my second pick. Like, I don't even know where... Look how many 99s there are. Oh, my God. Bro, this is going to be crazy. Otani's, like, literally all the way down here. Bro, these teams are going to be insane. These teams are going to be absolutely insane, but I guess I'm going to take Mickey Mantle. He's 24 years old, and he's an absolute beast. That is my first pick. Okay. Bro, this is going to be insane. This is going to be so freaking fun. Someone drafted a 97. Bro, why are these people taking like 91s? Bro, who was the 91 that someone took? King Griffey Jr. They took a 91 overall King Griffey Jr. He's 20 years old. Wow. All right, that's actually kind of a good pick. If he lives up to uh, to actual King Griffey Jr. All right, I respect it, honestly. Uh, but now who do we want? Ricky Henderson, 31. Gary Sheffield, only 27. And he's already in 99 overall. Oh, my God. Da Dude, do I take David Ortiz, my favorite player ever? Bro, he's only 30. Dude, this is honestly kind of tough. Mike Trout, Randy Johnson. Oh, my God. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Root Foster, can't really take him, though. He's too old. He's 40 years old. DeGrom. Bro, this is actually kind of tough with all these players. Should I take this guy? A 35 overall. I'm kidding. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to take Gary Sheffield. He's 27. He's going to be on the team for a few years. He should be pretty good. And now I might take Randy Johnson. But then again, I don't really know, dude. He's only got three pitches. Bob Gibson might even be better. Cy Young, but 32 for Bob Gibson. I could take Derek Jeter. Mm, this is tough. Like, this first draft is freaking tough, bro. Like, Jason Giambi, he's 29. He's a 98 overall. That could be a good pick. Jim Tomey. Like, I really don't know if I should really pay too much attention to age. Wait, Satchel Page, 58 years old? What the? Did he? <laughs> How is he 58 years old? I don't know. All right, you know what? Whatever. We're just going to take Randy Johnson and see what happens. Obviously, it's good to have good pitching on your team, but uh, yeah, and I think I'm only going to do like 15 rounds of the draft, and then I'll let the computer decide everyone else, but uh, let's see, is, I wonder if Otani's still available, yeah, definitely not, alright, so these 99s are getting scooped up pretty quick, 
and there's really not that many good 99s left. Like, again, I don't want these older guys. Mark McGuire could be good, but he's 34 years old. Lefty Grove could be good, but he's a bullpen guy. I think he might be available for a while. So we're going to hold off on that one. Wait, actually, why is he a bullpen guy? He's got 99 stamina. I wonder if I can make him a starting pitcher. I don't know. Probably not, but let's see. Uh, Mariano Rivera, that'd be a fun one. Carlos Delgado, he's 28. Ooh, that could be a dirty little pick right there. Um, Cliff Lee, Jim Palmer, Eric Gagne in a bullpen. You know what? Dude, actually look at Rob Dibble too. Bro, there are some very good picks here. Wow, all right. Um, God, I want Lefty Grove, but I want him to be a starting pitcher, but I don't know. Because it says he's a relief pitcher. Am I able just to make him a starting pitcher? I don't know. I think the safe pick is to probably take the 28-year-old Carlos Delgado. He's a 96 overall. We'll take him. And hopefully I didn't mess that up. All right. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. What do I need? I have no relief pitchers, no closing pitchers. I got two outfielders. All right. Uh, shorts up. Ooh, Trey Turner at short. I don't know if I want him right now. He's 29. Obviously very good. Jose Ramirez, always insane. I love Jose Ramirez. Craig Biggio, 32 years old, 94 overall. Oof. Bro, this is like way harder than I thought. Um, I don't know. I might take a starting pitcher, bro. I might take a starting pitcher. Cliff Lee, 29. He's a 94 overall. See, I just don't know if, like, age is that important. Like this guy. He's obviously way better than Cliff Lee by three, but he's also five years older. So, like, I'm going to take Cliff Lee and risk it. Screw it, bro. Screw it. This is just tough. Like, legit, this is very tough. Um, All right, we get another pick here. My starting pitcher's looking good. Still have no bullpen, but there's a lot of good bullpen pitchers available. Lefty Grove. Dude, I'm taking Lefty Grove, bro. He's still a 99 overall. I know he's a bullpen guy, but bullpen's very important. Like, he's a very important guy to have. Jorge Posada, 32. There's a 20. Oh, Adley Rutschman, bro. Oh, man. Oh, this could be a decent pick, but he's really not that good. This card really isn't that good somehow. Um. Okay, let's see. I still need a second baseman. Oh, dang it. Did someone take... Uh, Dang it, someone took Jose Ramirez. I was kind of hoping I could have gotten him. Corey Seager, obviously insane. Michael Young, a little bit better, actually. Let's take Michael Young. Screw it. So we're only on round seven, and we're still drafting 90 overall players. So, like, we're looking pretty good, honestly, for our team. It's just going to be very interesting to see uh, what our team ends up looking like after the entire draft. But we got two good starting pitchers. Wait, there's another Randy Johnson. Do I take another Randy Johnson? This is obviously the very old one. He's 45 years old. Uh, God, is there really a 58-year-old Satchel Page card? I guess so. That is honestly kind of insane, bro. But uh, this guy throws gas. DeGrom, he's 28. He's an 86 overall. Oh, that's his rookie card or whatever. See, bro, like, is, De is this DeGrom card going to be as good as, like, the live series DeGrom? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, this is his, like, rookie card or whatever. And when DeGrom was a rookie, no one really knew if he was going to be as good as he is today. So this could be a gamble to see if he's actually worth it. He's an 86. So I'm going to hold off for now and hope that this card's still available in the future. Kevin Gossman, too. Let's see. But who do I freaking want, bro? JT Romuto? Maybe. Maybe. It's just so hard drafting these people. 34-year-old Eddie Murray. Rod Carew's 31. Ian Kinsler. Like this. How old is Ian Kinsler? 29. Ah, uh, what's Trevor's story? No, that's his live series card, I guess. Oh, bro. I don't know who to take. I literally don't know who to take. Who would you guys take, bro? Ryan Braun? 23 years old. Like, again, Ryan Braun, when he was 23, was this good. But obviously, the older Ryan Braun got, the better he got. So, like, this could be a good pick, but we're playing. It's risky. I took him, but it's risky. It's very risky, that pick. Because if Ryan Braun is even close to as good as he was in real life, that is an easy steal, bro. 
Easy steal. Rich Gossage in the bullpen. That could be a good pick. That could be a very good pick. Um, I still don't have a catcher, though. But see, like, all these guys are basically the same. Is it worth it? Let me just go to the all players and see who's the highest. Yeah, these guys are just too old. Rich Gossage might be the pick. Our bullpen's honestly pretty stacked right now. Our bullpen's pretty freaking stacked, but I might need to start drafting some players that are probably going to be good in the future. Like, is Ellie De La Cruz available? Let me see. He's a shortstop, right? Like, I don't know if Ellie De La Cruz is going to be available. Yeah, definitely not. Dang, who took Ellie De La Cruz? We could take Xander Bogarts. Um, Randy Rosarena, obviously a decent card. But I just don't know if he's going to be worth it, bro. Like, bro, a Satchel Page, 58-year-old card. God. All right, who do I even freaking need, bro? I need bullpen, obviously, a closing pitcher. I should be okay there. A catcher. Still don't have one. Salvador Perez. You know what, dude? I'm taking Salvador Perez. He's very good at hitting, and I I like hitting more than, like, defense, obviously. So I'm going to take Satchel Page Or Satchel Page, Salvador Perez. We need a second baseman and then a left fielder. And then we at least have one player at every position. Trevor Story. I don't know. I don't know. Alex Gordon. Wait. Oh, wait. That could be a decent card, honestly. Kyle Schwarber. I like Schwarber. I might wait for Schwarber. Greg Vaughn. That might be worth it. Still a good hitter. He's just a little bit older than I want. Again, I'm only going to draft to round 15, and then I'm going to let the computer do the rest of it. But let's see. Um, DeGrom. Dude, DeGrom is still available. I might take him and risk it. I might take him and risk it. Wait, I just think I saw Ellie De La Cruz picked. No, dude, he was. He's only a 69 overall. No. All right, whatever. That's fine. And again, these are like the offline roster. So like, it's a little messed up, honestly. So like, maybe I could have taken the opening day uh, rosters and then enabled the free agents. But this is more fun. This is more fun, okay? Whatever. Rob Nan, John Donaldson, Napoli at first base. Closing pitcher, catcher, second baseman, bro. I don't know who to take here. Like, can I put someone else? Mike Lowell? Can he play second base? No. DJ LeMayhew obviously can play second base. Matt Carpenter. I really like Matt Carpenter. Is, uh... Yeah, Schwarber's still available, dude. I really like Schwarber. I'm taking him. He might be my DH, honestly. He always hits a lot of home runs, and I want him. Okay, and again, I can make trades and stuff for players, so... Don't forget that. Don't forget that. And we got some good players that we can trade away. Um, do I take Rob? Oh, wait, he's 48 years old. No, I can't do that. Can't take Rob, Ned. Kevin Gossman, he's always pretty good. Chris Sale, Adolis Garcia, he's very good. He is very good. But do I need him? Probably not. I'm going to take Glass now. 84 overall, he's very young, and this is going to be my final pick. So we got to make sure we get someone we need. Wait. Oh, my God. Phil Necro. Dude, he's got a knuckleball. Do I take him? I don't know. He's 39. Dude, I think my team's looking pretty good, bro. My starting pitching's very good. My bullpen isn't amazing yet, but they're still pretty good. It's just my second base. But all these guys are basically the same. You know what? I think I'm going to take one more starting pitcher. Kevin Gossman. I think I'm going to take him. Yeah, I'm going to take Kevin Gossman. And that is it. And now we're going to simulate the draft and see what my team ended up looking like. All right? So these are going to be on, I guess, we're going to turn coaching tasks on scouting. See, I don't know. I don't know what to do on these. I don't know. I'm going to keep them all on auto for now. And I can change that in the settings. Like, it, like I can go into settings and mess with all that stuff. Like, uh, wait, how do I do that? There's a way to change... Is it mode specific? Yeah, right here. So I can change all this to what I actually want to control. So drafting, I kept that on manual, but...
but I might turn that on automatic. Like, I, I really don't know, like, what the best way to do this. Like, waivers and all that stuff, bro. Like, I'm not as good as franchise as some of these other people that know all about this stuff. So, like, I don't know. Free agency, same thing. Contracts, same thing. Like, I don't know. I might keep these on auto for now and see how this plays out. But let's go look at what this team looks like right now. All right, lineups. So this is how they set the lineup. We got Michael Young at short, DJ LeMay, Hugh at second, Mickey Mantle. Probably, yeah, I mean, bro, he's only 24 with his card. So, like, he's looking pretty good. I think this was an absolute steal. Carlos Delgado, Gary Sheffield, Salvador Perez, Kyle Schwarber, Gary, or Greg Vaughn, and Ryan Braun. So my worst player is Kyle Schwarber. Honestly, pretty insane team. I won't lie. Um, and now my pitching rotation also very freaking good. Randy Johnson, and this is the young one. He's only 31. Cliff Lee, Jacob DeGrom, Kevin Gossman, Tyler Glass. Now, so if Jacob DeGrom could be even close to as good as he is in real life, bro, we are looking very good, okay? And then my bullpen, not amazing, but I got three pretty good arms. Rich Gossage, Blake Trident, and Lefty Grove. Wait, didn't I have another good arm? I thought I drafted, like, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. But this is what the team looks like. Honestly, very good so far. Okay, so that is what the team looks like. Obviously, very good, but every team is good. How we're probably going to do this is I might, like, uh, do critical situations or something. Let me turn that on really quick here. Mode specific, critical situations on, and apply that. And if you guys don't know how critical situations are, it like basically like uh, just gives you like critical situations, like maybe a walk off home run opportunity, maybe someone's throwing a perfect game. You just really don't know. So we're gonna each video we might do a month or something like that. Like this one right here, Boston is oh, dude. We're up twelve to three. I'm not gonna do this one. This is not critical. But dude, look at Greg Vaughn, bro. Game one, he's four for four. Oh my god. That is crazy. All right, so we're obviously not going to do that. That one's not that critical. But this one is. Greg Vaughn is up. Ryan Braun is at second base. Bottom 10. Zero outs. We're entering the game here. I would think they're going to walk me, right? Why do they walk Greg Vaughn if there's no outs? They should. This should be a walk all day. They're not walking me. All right, well, let's go, Greg Vaughn. Come on. Oh my god, bro. This guy throws weird. Tim Hill throws very weird, but we got to get the hit right here. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Just get the hit. Dude, I cannot see the ball here. I literally cannot see the ball here at Fenway Park. God dang it. Kevin Euclid, that hurts. That's a Red Sox fan. We got DJ, Le DJ LeMahieu up, but dude, it is the ball literally blends in with the backstop so much. Get down. Get down. Get down. Yes. Are we going to score? Oh my God. I should have sent it. Frick. I was kind of thinking the computer would control that. Ah, whatever. First and third, one out. Bryson Stott. Come on, bro. A lot of players that uh, were on my original roster are hitting this game. Interesting. Very interesting, but let's go. We got to get the hit, Bryson Stott. Let's go, baby. Just get the hit. Let's win this freaking game. Don't you dare choke. Good take. Force him way up and away. All right. This guy's afraid. Just no double plays. I don't know Bryson Stott's speed. Maybe he could beat it out. Crushes it. That's the game, I think. We're going to tag up. 82 speed. Should win the game. Let's go. Boston gets the job done. We win. That's what I'm talking about. Let's freaking go, baby. Beautiful. Good walk-off win. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, and now we're going to return to the clubhouse. So that's basically what critical situations are. You don't play the entire game. You know, but you do stuff like that where it's like very intense moments. But so far, we're three and three here. Again, we're going to play the entire month and see what happens. Um, Gary Sheffield, top of the ninth. Yeah, let's hop into it. Let's hop into it. So my team has terrible stolen bases. We're 18. We have 18 home runs, which is, I think it said fifth. But here's Gary Sheffield against Duran. Very good pitcher. And good start. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. We got to win this game, bro. We got to win it. We're down by one. A home run here would be pretty dope. Who's up? Carlos Delgado. He's two for three this game. All right, let's go, Delgado. Don't get picked off, Gary. 
He's safe. Don't do it, Gary. We got to score you. All right? Don't be doing it. A double play would be terrible right now. That would just be absolutely terrible, but it's not going to happen. No double plays. No, sir. Ah. Wait, is that going to get down? Oh, my God, no. Go back to one. God dang it, dude. I thought that might have gotten down. Whatever. We're going to be safe at one. We're out. How slow are you? Oh, my God, bro. Dude, we weren't even, like, at second base. Why did it take him so long to get back to first base? And we would have... Oh, my God. We would have taken the lead. Salvador Perez just hit that ball to the freaking moon. Tie game. Oh, my God. I can't believe that happened. We got Schwarber. He's 0 for 3 so far. God dang it. Dude, how did I get out at first base on that fly ball, dude? That sucks. I can't believe that happened. I cannot believe that happened. I want to cry. And that's a fly ball. Yep. I choked. I freaking choked. God dang it. Let's see if we can hold him from scoring here. What is going on here? Out. Single. Single. Oh, God. Two on. No, we get freaking walked off. God dang it. That's all right. That's all right. See, like, in that moment right there, I could have pitched. And maybe that would have been smarter instead of just simulating it. But I feel like the critical situation, like, was hitting. So I got to stick to hitting, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe if I enter the game, I just play as long as I can to win. I don't know. We're going to skip this. One. Oh, my God. I entered it. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what the situation is. Let's see. We're down by one. Top of eight. All right. This is a decent one. See, like this one, I feel like I should play the rest of it no matter what. I don't know, though. Let's just get this hit. Come on. Good hit. We're sending it. We're sending it. Dude, why wouldn't it let me control the guy on third base? I guess I'm player locked as DJ LeMahieu. That might be what that was. Yeah, we get pinch ran for. Okay, so that makes sense. Wait, now we're hitting with Mickey Mantle. Bro, what is going on here? I do not know. This is weird, but let's go, Mickey. We need a home run, bro. We need a home run. Let's go. Don't choke. Oh, my God. I missed it. We're going to tag up. We're going to go to third base, though. 89 speed. Yeah, it's worth it. Go. Got to get there. Got to get there. He hits a cutoff. Yeah, we're safe. Let's go. Let's go, baby. 4-4. Four to four. Carlos Delgado. Bro, this team is ridiculous. This team is absolutely ridiculous, but we need to hit Delgado. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. I dropped. We're going to tag up, though. We have to. Go. Oh, God. We, we might be out. Are we going to be safe? Yes. Let's go. We got the lead. Come on. Come on, baby. And now we got Gary Sheffield. Bro, yeah, that 3-4-5 or whatever that is, absolutely stacked, dude. Oh, my God. This team is gross. Rip to foul. Come on. Come on. Gary, you got to do it. You got to do it, Gary. Please. Oh, wow. No balls. Bro, that slider was gross. That slider was absolutely disgusting, and he fooled me. But we're good, though. We're good. Nope, I dropped. Frick! Ah, oh, why did I drop on that one? That's, a, that's bad, bro. At least we got the lead, though. At least we got the lead. That's fine. Come on. We're going to pitch here. Dude, this guy throws weird. I like it. I like it. Anytime my bullpen guys throw weird like this guy, that's good for me. We need three outs here without giving up a run. And then we're going to go score a few more and win the game. Okay. That's what we're going to freaking do. Up and in. Or up and away, actually. Sinker. All right. Let's go slider off the plate a little bit. Get him out. There we go. There we go. Five to four. One out. Good spot. Yeah, this guy's good. I like this guy. I don't know what his overall is. Oh, the umpire gave me the call. We're going to freeze him on the slider inside. Completely missed my spot. Gary, Gary Sheffield there, though. We're out number two. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. He crushed that. Woo! He crushed that thing. We're good, though. Strike. Good spot. And sinker. Low and in. Got him. Huge. All right. Here we go. Top of the ninth. We got Kyle Schwarber up. Let's get some runs here. Let's get some runs. Win this game. 
Schwarber just absolutely demolished that thing, but we swung too early. You've got to be kidding me. Bro, the ball is ripped. We're okay, though. Come on, Schwarber. Come on. Uh, oh, nice. I thought we were going to ground out right there. That's a good hit. That is a very good hit. Come on. Who's up now? Greg Vaughn. Dude, I got Greg Vaughn batting seven. That shows how good this team is, dude. Oh, my God. They're disgusting. Oh, I swung early. Wow. Oh, and one. Wow, I swung early on that one. But yeah, again, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Any suggestions you have to make this better, please tell me in the comments. I'm going to be reading every single comment on this video, so let me know as I ground into a double play. Frick. That's bad. That's bad. But yeah, let me know any suggestions. Who's up right now? Who's this guy? Oh, Ryan Braun. Yeah, I just really hope Ryan Braun gets as good as he was. And that is a deep fly ball, but I think he's going to catch it. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a freaking catch. No way. Well, we're three outs away from winning this thing. Let's see if we can get it done. Ball. And, yeah, I'm really trying to figure out how long I should make these videos. Like, should I make them an hour, 30 minutes, 40 minutes? I, I really don't know. I really don't know. But we get out number one. Good job. Come ball. on. Let's go slider outside. One ball, no strike. Foul ball. Let's go up and away. Ryan Broad. Yes. Two down. Let's go. One more. One more. Yeah, this Ryan Thompson guy. What's his overall even? He's a 67 overall. Dude, and he's been dominating out of the bullpen. I love it. Let's go sinker outside. Dang it. Kind of missed my spot on that one. Come on. Foul ball. Come on, baby. Once you count, slider inside. Strike three. He swung. But the computer made a move. Oh, no. Full count. I don't like it. Sinker up and away. Foul ball. Come on, baby. One more out. Let's go. Please. Just one more freaking out. Slider. Get him. Let's go. We win. That is what I'm talking about, baby. Beautiful. What was the final score? I don't even know. Five to four or three to five to four. Beautiful. DJ LeMahieu, three for four with two runs and a double. Woo! Let's go. Yeah, that was a very good game, though. DJ LeMahieu killed it, dude. I mean, Ryan Thompson also did two. Three innings pitch, four strikeouts. That's beautiful. But I might just simulate to the end of the month here and don't do any more uh, critical situations just to uh, see how the team's doing at the end of the month. And then, uh, yeah, so that's it. So we ended up going 13 to 15. Really? 13 to 15. All right. Well, this team's not as good as I thought they were. Let's go look at the lineup and see who's doing good and who's doing bad. Michael Young, 291 with five home runs. Pretty good. DJ the Mayhew, only a 78 overall, batting 296. He's doing good too. Mickey Mantle, 217. Bro, my best player is doing the worst so far. Like what? Delgado killing it, 283, six home runs. Sheffield, 250 with four home runs. So my 299s are doing worse than everyone else. Not ideal. Salvador Perez, look at this pick, dude. 346 average with six home runs. What is going on? Schwarber, 212 with a lot of home runs, though. That's kind of why I drafted him. I want the home runs. Uh, Greg Vaughn, 281, six home runs. And Ryan Braun, 291 with five home runs. Yeah, so my worst players are my 299 overalls. Okay, well, that explains why I'm not doing too good. I really hope they wake up offensively because that's going to really suck if I have to trade freaking Mickey Mantle. Like, what are we doing? But let me look at my um, my pitching rotation. Randy Johnson, not a good start. 506 ERA. Hopefully he steps up. Cliff Lee, not good either. 1 and 5 with a 5 3 ERA. DeGrom, 466. Kevin Gossman, 415. And Tyler Glass now, 822. Oh my God. Bro, uh, that's not good. That is not good. Lefty Grove, killing it. Can I make him a starting pitcher? I can. Oh my God. Because look at his stamina, bro. He's got 98 stamina, bro. That's a big move. That's a big move, bro. I'm putting Tyler Glass now in the bullpen, and Lefty Grove is now a starting pitcher. I really hope that stays like that because Lefty Grove is way too good for the bullpen. I mean, my bullpen, I got Blake Trinan and Rich Gossage out here, so they're going to be fine. I mean, yeah, Rich Gossage is killing it. Six innings pitched, nine strikeouts. Trinan doing good, too. But yeah, Lefty Grove is going to be a new starting pitcher for next video, but I think that's probably a good spot. Our team's not doing too good, but again, my two best players aren't doing good, so hopefully they wake up and start doing better, but... 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, any suggestions, let me know in the comment section. If you guys are excited for this, hit that like button. New video should be out either tomorrow or the next day, so be ready. But I'm out of here. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.